Hey, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. My name is Chris Hall, and this is the Chris Hall Podcast. That's right. You, you heard correct. Um, I changed the name of the show, and so I wanted to hop on here uh, for a quick little episode just to inform you guys of what's going on, why I made the change, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, you heard correct. It's no longer the Raw Food Foot Soldier Podcast. Um, that name and title is going to be taking a little R and R for for a bit. So um, yeah, I'll explain here in a second why I did that. But um, hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you had a fantastic New Year's. Hope everybody uh, everybody stayed safe and um, didn't get too wasted. Uh, I woke up sober January first, and that's a good feeling. It's a good feeling for me because in the past. Um, didn't look so good. It was always a kind of a touch and go day for me. <laughs> well, most days are like that, to be honest. Uh, kind of touch and go if um, I was going to make it through or not. So um, happy to uh, to wake up January first with my head clear and my head on straight. So, regardless, I hope you guys had a fantastic 2018, and I think there are going to be some good things coming for 2019. Uh, there's there's a shift happening. Uh, and a, con- a consciousness awakening, I think, is taking place. So I'm super excited for 2019. I think we've got some uh, some good things in store, uh, just for for humankind in general. So um, and some exciting things for the podcast as well. So uh, I guess I'll get into uh, explaining why I changed the name of the show. I just confuse you. I just wanted to confuse everybody. That that was basically my plan. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that's working, but no, seriously, uh, I had a lot of reservation about changing the name of the show because I've had this podcast for two years and it's always been called the raw food foot soldier. And that was just a name that I came up with, uh, on the fly, um, a couple of years ago. And I just thought it sounded cool. And you know, I've been following people on social media and everybody's got these catchy little names, um, you know, to, to kind of represent themselves. And um, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to have my own little name for the raw food lifestyle, the detoxification movement. So why not raw food foot soldier? It sounded kind of cool, but it is a tongue twister. Um, people always mess it up. A lot of people say raw foot soldier. Uh, and that's not that's not what it is, but um, I don't know. I just thought it was a cool name that I came up with at the time. So I'm like, I'm going to call the podcast that. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. So I ran with it and um, had that for about two years. And just lately, i just been thinking about changing it um, for, for several reasons. Um, one, uh, I just didn't want to be associated with the the food movement uh, because having raw food in the title kind of pigeonholes me to a certain community, a certain lifestyle, and I just don't want to get involved in the diet wars, and um, so I didn't want to come at it from that angle. So in that sense, I kind of wanted to drop the raw food uh, portion of it. Um, but I still, you know, I still believe in raw foods for, for optimal diet, for detoxification, for true health. Um, I still believe in that. Uh, so that hasn't changed. But um, yeah, I just didn't. And as having that title, uh, raw food foot soldier, kind of implied that I was like a hundred percent raw foodist and that was all I ate um, which isn't the case um, for for a couple of reasons just because of my own struggles with trying to adopt the diet and I don't know if I want to be a hundred percent and I don't know if you have to be a hundred percent to to have a, a title like that but in my own mind I thought well if I am you know an ambassador for this diet then you know I should be live in that lifestyle 100 percent, and that's just not the case so i just felt like i was a bad ambassador for that name so not a very good representative so 
uh, I thought maybe I should kind of just drop that title. Didn't want to be a hypocrite or anything. Uh, again, I still promote the diet and I'm still eat a lot of raw foods myself, but I'm just not a hundred percent. And, you know, I still waver from time to time. And like I said, it, it's, it's, it's been a journey for me. It's been a struggle, but, um, that's one of the reasons. And also didn't want to, uh, just for podcast purposes, uh, again, pigeonhole myself into a certain, uh, group, uh, or community. Uh, cause my, I, I want to approach this from more of a, a holistic lifestyle. I mean, raw food is just one great spoke in the wheel of health and there's so many different avenues and ways to get healthy. And I, I kind of felt like, uh, raw food was kind of keeping me stuck into one corner and I didn't want that either. And I didn't know if that was hurting my podcast numbers because my, my audience isn't isn't huge by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know if that was kind of a hindrance or not for that. Uh, There's so many podcasts out there, so much content, and it's hard to get a foothold in that and get noticed. So I don't know if that was part of the problem. Um, I really want to grow my audience and reach more people just to help spread the message. And I didn't see that happening. So uh, I had a few suggestions from past guests and friends, like you should just change the name of the show to the Chris Hall podcast and kind of drop that, that raw food label and kind of disassociate yourself with that and run with that. So I've been thinking about it, thinking about it and um, I decided to do it, decided to do it for, for this year. Uh, well, for going forward, but started at the beginning of this year, 2019. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, that's what I'm running with. And it feels good. It feels right. You know, I, I still love the name Raw Food Foot Soldier, but um, it just feels right to call it the Chris Hall podcast. Just to be transparent and honest with you guys and not hiding behind some persona, something that I made up. Um, so I just, this just feels right to me. It feels better. So... I'm glad I made the switch. So I just wanted to come on and come on here for a minute and just kind of explain myself. And I'm not sure how all this works logistically. Um, I think my, I had to kind of rearrange and move some stuff around link wise for the links for the show. So hopefully all that pans out and I don't lose anybody along the process. Um, I shouted everything out on uh, social media on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so hopefully everybody's caught wind of the change and they don't get lost. There's nothing more frustrating when you go to type something in and that doesn't pop up. Uh, that's pretty maddening, but I think, I think everything's switching over pretty smoothly so far. I think if you still type in uh, raw food foot soldier, I think it still links you to the Chris Hall podcast and my content and stuff on social media. So you should be all right there. If anybody has any problems, I can't find anything or something went weird. Uh, let me know. Uh, send me an email. And that still is rawfoodfootsoldier at gmail.com. So I haven't changed a lot of stuff. I changed my my page name on Instagram. That's now Chris Holistic. That's Chris Hall underscore I-S-T-I-C Holistic. I changed that as well. Um, so I'm making some changes, man. I'm going through my transition. I, I'm maturing. I'm growing. I'm evolving. So uh, moving on to new things. And like I said before, kind of a more of a holistic approach to things. Um, cause again, like I said, raw food is just one spoke in the wheel and I want to start diving into some more areas and that's going to relate into the guests that I'm going to have on the show. I want to have more wide range variety of guests, uh, because a lot of my stuff in the past has been, you know, raw foodist detoxification people, and I'm still going to do all that. So don't worry about that. But I just wanted to kind of expand my audience and uh, for my own personal self growth. Um, you know, I think I pretty much got down the nutrition part, um, uh, the food part. So I need to start expanding into other areas of health to get that complete holistic approach. So that's why I'm kind of evolving and changing in that direction. Um, 
but yeah, don't worry. The show's still going to be mainly focused on detoxification and, and, and health, of course. But um, I'm excited just to get some other guests on um, going into spirituality, um, uh, mindset, and just fitness, just different avenues of health. And maybe you get some people who are just inspiring, just inspiring people, entrepreneurs, visionaries, and things of that nature. So I'm excited for, for this next year and see what kind of guests I can get on the show and uh, make the show a little bit better for you guys. Uh, so it's not stale, not too stagnant. Uh, I know you guys come here for the detoxification stuff, but uh, yeah, let's, let's broaden our horizons for 2019 and, uh, and uh, start getting some, uh, some new flavors on the show. So that's it. I just wanted to check in real quickly with you guys, just let you know what's going on, uh, keep you in the loop. And I think that's it. So um, yeah. I, my goals for this year are going to be fitness related. Um, you know, I've obviously been into health and fitness for a long time, but physical health has been, um, you know, fitness aspect of it has been, has been something I've been wanting to do for a while to reach a certain level. Uh, just, you know, with my own personal physique, how I look, um, something I've always wanted to, to do come close, but never got to where I feel like I, I can actually achieve and get. So I'm going to work on fitness this year. I really dial that in and be very methodical about it. Um, take my time. I'm using the hashtag jacked at 48. So I'm going to be 48 uh, in July. So my goal is to see what I can get done in uh, the, the seven, six months uh, from now. So that's what I'm doing. And you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll be posting on the IGTV section, uh, little videos about what I'm doing, my protocols, uh, my regimen, my training and stuff like that, any supplements or gear that I might be using. And uh, you can follow me along on there if you're interested. So that's what I got going on. Um, and so I guess that's it. I'll wrap this up. I don't want to start rambling on. So uh, I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you stay with me and follow along uh, on this journey, on this ride. It keeps changing, man. It keeps, it keeps getting different, keeps getting better. So I hope you guys stick with me and uh, follow me into the new year. I got some cool guests lined up uh, tomorrow. I'm actually interviewing Dave Sandoval, who is one of the co-founders of uh, Purium. So I'm going to have him on the show. And I got some other great guests lined up. Nothing confirmed solid just yet, so I don't want to throw anything else out there. But I uh, definitely got Dave Sandoval coming on. So that should be up shortly. So, all right, that's it, you guys. I'm out. Have a good one. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.